You guys know Jess broke her wrist and I got the footage to show you how she did it in the gym. I'm showing you something that's really cringeworthy to watch, but it needs to be said to help everybody else out there not do the same thing and to protect yourself when you're in the gym. You know, I, I wish I was spotting her, but I was holding the camera and I wish we could caught her in time because I feel like it's my role to protect her and I just let her down. <sighs> but the benefit and the positive thing is she's okay. She has a broken wrist. And here's a clip of me and her at the beach a few days later to show you that she is okay. Um, but so then what happened is I was like, let's go do some pull-ups. And Brad was like, nah, I don't want to. And I was like, well, how about you just film me do some? And he's like, all right, I'll do that. So we go outside to the this pull-up area because there's this really cool pull-up bar that it's like, yeah, so I, you know, I'm using that handlebar and it just slips right off the edge because there's nothing to hold it on. So that's what happened. And, and, you know, get and she has a broken <laughs> wrist. I do. It's not even just a sprain. The bones broke. are broke. So to make sure when you're at the gym, even if something is in place and looks like it could work, if it's not affixed to it, if it's not the legitimate thing, don't do it. And the crazy thing is, after this happened to Jess and she was down on the ground, a girl came running over to see if she was okay. And she said that she did the exact same thing and she actually broke her ribs because she landed on a dumbbell or something and was out for six weeks.